Welcome back. So, this is the first video that I've actually done in my apartment. Now, I'm annoyed, right, because it's a beautiful view and I want to do a lovely video with the ocean in the background, but the lighting is just messing the video up. So, I'll give you a little, a little tour of the view once we're done. But anyway, we're back. We're back. Um, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, I've moved to Mallorca, which is a Mediterranean island just off the coast of Spain. So it's about it's about an hour an hour's flight from Barcelona. So you know this was the plan. You know going forward, as I said before, just didn't think it'd be here quite as soon. So it's a beautiful island, and this is what it's all about. This is the dream. This has been the dream from day one. As soon as I started this journey, all them years ago, this was always you know my ultimate goal was to move to Mediterranean island. You know, I lived in Spain many many years ago, so I knew that's where I wanted to come back to eventually. So I'm here. And again, I'm another example of if you just hang in there, you will eventually get there. You know, and I get the question all the time, how long does it take? There's no there's no time scale, guys. There's no time scale. Some people it takes a year, some people it takes two years, some people that you know it takes longer. There's no time frame, there's no time scale. As soon as you start to impose time scales on an adventure like this, because that's what it is, it's an adventure, it's a journey. As soon as you start to impose timelines, it just messes your psychology up. Because what happens if you get to one month from your timeline, you start to panic, don't you? So my advice, do not give yourself any timelines, any time frames. You know, just go through the journey. So, and anyway, this is a nice trade, this one's a 1.3K. This is a trade that I actually held overnight. I don't do that very often these days. Back in the day when I was working a full-time job, I used to um, hold positions for days and weeks, you know, obviously because I was working. Now I don't need to do that. But I held this one, um, and I only recorded basically the last kind of part of this trade, because I don't usually record these long trades when I do them, even though I don't do them very often. So, so this video is a little bit different because there's a few minutes of the actual trade, and then I go on for the second part to actually explain why I, why I took it. Um, and as I've said before, you know, for those of you that are working a full-time job and don't have the time to trade opens all the time, this is a good opportunity for you to either intraday swing or maybe swing for a couple of days. Okay, I wouldn't advise you know swinging for for weeks because that ties up your capital. So, um, so this is what it's all about, guys. Is is trying to identify these opportunities. Now I don't always catch them. It just so happens, you know. I, I do check certain stocks on a regular basis, and um, half the time, you know, there's no opportunity to take up a position. But sometimes there is. Sometimes that opportunity is there. So, you know, you've got to go searching for it. Most of the time, you don't get it, but on the other occasion, you do get it. And when you, when you get that correct setup, you know, the rewards are exponential. Okay, so really nice trade, 1.3k. Considering the amount of capital that I was using, it's a very good return. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual guys, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And follow me on Instagram, sambora.00. Doing a lot of fun stuff now. Um, beautiful restaurants, beautiful bars. Also working out and going to the gym, going for runs on the beach. So, if you want to see my lifestyle, check me out on Instagram. I post stuff on my story every single day. I like to keep you guys up to date with exactly what it is that I'm doing. Yin and yang, the partying and the working out and being healthy. So, hope you enjoyed this week's video. Okay, so this is something a little bit different. So, I'm actually going to just talk through this trade quickly and then I'm going to actually do like a post market analysis on it. So, this is actually a position that I'd held overnight from the previous day. Okay, so DAL, so Delta Airlines. And once I actually close this trade, we'll talk about why I took it. So this was, um, it wasn't an intraday swing because an intraday swing is where you're, you're opening and liquidating on the, the same, um, on the same day. So I actually held this overnight, which um, I don't do very often to be honest with you, but you'll see why once I actually end up closing this trade. So I ended up making basically 1.3K, um, you know, on these intraday swings and, and these positions that I hold, overnight which I don't do it too often I generally don't um, record them because it can just take so many hours so that's the reason 
predominantly why I record the scalp um, the scalp trades because it's a lot easier to do so with this really nice position and you'll see there you know seriously strong bullish movements but um, just before market opened there was a significant pullback um, which I was a little bit worried about but because of the previous day's session and where the price was I was really happy to hold this actually um, so I'm just changing to a 15 minute and this is why look Okay, so you can see easier on the 15 minute chart. Look at the sell off on the previous session. I mean, it was a significant sell off and I didn't quite get into the bottom, but not far. So 1.3K, okay, so that's the trade. So this is the reason why I held it comfortably for so long, okay? Because look at the previous session. I mean, look at where the price was, you know, $43.80. A significant sell-off all the way down to $41.20 okay so that's a significant sell-off and hence why I was really happy to hold it and um, and it was a it was quite a, a ferocious sell-off as well I mean if you look at it again that's on the 15 minute and um, time scale so it's a 15 minute window and you can see why I was so happy to hold it which leads me on to the next thing. If you want to complete an intraday swing, or if you want to some, hold something overnight or for several days, it needs to be these setups that you're looking for, okay? Whereas there's just a massive, massive sell-off or a massive, massive rally. Because, you know, if you've been following me for any kind of time at all, you'll always hear me say the same things. After the sell-off, there has to be a recovery after the rally there has to be a pullback and this is a classic example of this hence why i held it overnight okay which i said i don't do that too often these days you know back in the day when i first started out i used to hold positions for days weeks even months sometimes but this is not something that i do too often anymore um but again if you're in a position where you can't scalp and open because of work commitments or any other commitments and you're looking to maybe complete an intraday swing or hold a position for a couple of days these are the setups you need to look for okay and if you're if you're wanting to do that I would definitely recommend that you you put it on to a longer time frame than a one or five minute you're looking for roughly about a 15 minute something like that where it gives you a very clear picture of not just the previous session but the previous couple of sessions or even the previous week um, and again you can see why now the reason being is because when there's been such a significant sell-off you know that there has to be some kind of recovery at some stage and if you're getting in roughly at the bottom you know psychologically it feels much better to hold that position for a longer period of time because it pretty much gets gets to the point where worst case scenario is that you break even or have a very small loss and these are the kind of trades that you can literally just walk away from and keep checking so there you have it guys 1.3k for a beautiful beautiful swing that i took over just over the day um, and as i said before you've got to look for these opportunities so hope you enjoyed this week's video some more good videos coming soon I've got a, a cameraman coming over in about three, four weeks that's going to be helping me out, so it makes it a little bit easier. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you a bit of my view. I can't get in it because as soon as I put the camera towards the light, my face just disappeared, which might be a good thing sometimes, but I will show you my view. So see you again very soon for another video. So here we go. Here is the view so this is actually Palmanova so this is my apartment looking out onto the bay and it's a beautiful beautiful island literally a hundred meters away you've got the beach and all the bars and restaurants are literally 
right behind this block of apartments. So, going to be posting a lot more stuff like this on my Instagram and on YouTube, guys. So, if you want to continue to follow my long journey, make sure that you subscribe.